Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Today we're back up here at my friend Jason's shop, Timeless Customs with Don. And we're gonna dig into your truly extraordinary, very beautiful car that I know absolutely nothing about. First off, what is it? What did you start with here? This is a 50 Mercury. This is called the lead sled. This is a, yeah. a style of a custom car, traditionally known as a lead sled. There's no lead in it anymore. Mind boggling amount of work. First, the, the top was chopped four inches, which requires cutting the whole top off the car and, and lowering it. And then this car has been sectioned as well, sectioned two inches, which is really quite subtle, but uh, what it does, it, it gives the car a little more fluid look to it. That means cutting two inches all the way out of the car, all the way around, and then welding it back together, pan, what they call pancaking the hood. And and pancaking the, the hood is just that, it's kind of flattening it a little that's bit, That's right, right, exactly right, yeah. exactly right. Yeah. And then all the this traditional custom features, frenching the headlights, changing the grill, uh, changing the tail lights and uh, molding everything together. The fenders and the body are all molded together, and so oh, really? uh, these are all standard uh, custom features. And there's just nothing like the look of the of the top being chopped down like that. And four inches is pretty dramatic. Yeah, yeah. it's just about right, I think. No, and, I do, I'm not saying it's not. I'm <laughs> yeah. just saying that's a lot to take out yeah, of it. Right. That included uh, leaning the windshield back six degrees, so that still gives it a little bit more fluid look to the car as well. So then that means that's a full custom piece of glass, right? Yeah, it is, all the glass is custom in the car. Right, right. Oh my gosh, the amount of time and energy yeah. and expense that's gotta go into doing that. How many years was this project? Well, the, the car originally was modified in the late 90s, Okay. and I bought it uh, 12 years ago, and and then started the, the changes that I thought were appropriate for the car. I wanted it to have a traditional custom look, a, a 1950s style custom look. And so I uh, went through those changes and with Timeless Customs we did the interior and we did the paint and uh, sort of executed uh, that style and that looked to the car. So when you bought it, all the sectioning and the chopping, that had all already been done. That's, you didn't have to go true. through the pain that, of that, that process, that, that's or true. let's say the expense yeah. of that process. That, that was done uh, in a home shop in uh, Pennsylvania, two guys in their own garage doing all that work. And so it was, uh, they, they were excellent craftsmen. And timeless, I mean, I, I've, you know, I've known Jason for quite a while. I mean, he's definitely one of the best paint and body guys around. Yeah, he did a fabulous job. Custom. So Eric did the whole interior? Here? Eric did the interior. It has a sort of Gosh. a traditional look to it, a tuck and roll a traditional look, but mm -hmm. it still has some modern uh, characteristics. Yeah. Uh, in the center console, we have drum wrap material. This is the, the material that uh, goes around drums. Oh, really? And it, it's uh, red, red pearl, which matches the paint. Uh, yeah. Almost perfectly. Can we go up front and, and I want to I want to pop the hood and, and I'd love to look and see what you got going under here. Okay. What is the motor in here? It's a Chevy ZZ4, uh -huh. uh, 385 horsepower. Still carbureted? Oh no, it's I had, not. Uh, fuel injection, yeah. Injection, Throttle yeah. body fuel yeah. injection. Yeah, yeah. And you know this kind of car, you don't need massive horsepower. This is no. a this is a cruiser. That's right. And then what transmission do you I have a to? 700 R4, four-speed uh -huh. automatic, uh -huh. and I've got a positive traction a rear end. What rear end is in it? You... It's a 373. Okay. It's a Chevy 373. Mm -hmm. Air conditioning, of course, and power steering, power brakes. Drives really nice for a, for a car as low as this is and as modified as the suspension is, it still drives and rides nicely. Yeah. I have air shocks in back and the front suspension is a Mustang II, which is you know, very, very popular. So air shocks in the rear does give you the ability to... Yeah, I, I can raise it up and lower it uh, an inch and a half. Okay. And, th and that's enough clearance for driving around. Uh, mm -hmm. That's all I need. Yeah. And I see a Willwood Master, so that's do you right. have four-wheel so, disc around the car? I uh, got discs on the front, the drums on the back. Okay. How come the Cadillac hubcap? Well, that was another early custom a traditional feature and yeah. so they were modifying them to make them look like a more expensive car uh, a more special car and so uh, adding Cadillac hubcaps was uh, part of that uh, effort no handles yeah right uh, the door openers inside the car what are these seats from Don? They, these are t-bird seats these are uh, they're 58 t-bird seats 
uh, mm -hmm. very comfortable. I moved them way, way back and down to give myself more of a, a yeah. reclined, you have a reclined driving position. Yeah. And uh, it's very comfortable. There's and it has a uh, pleated headliner too, yeah. which came out absolutely perfect. Well, man, we'll take a we'll take a couple minutes here. We'll get cameras set up in the car, and then and then we'll go do our drive part. Okay, good. Deal. Awesome. I get nervous driving other cars. I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of mesmerized that I'm driving this car right now. The car sure drives nice. And these seats, my gosh, how comfortable they are. Aren't this. they though? Yeah. I, I leaned them way back. I, I, I opened them up like that and then I lowered them way down. What do you guys call it again? Road Kings? Yeah, Road Kings of Burbank. Uh, the club is, has been in existence 70 years. Uh, so we put on two car shows a year, and over the years we've uh, contributed uh, three hundred and fifty thousand dollars to uh, local charities from the income from our car shows. God, this thing just drives so nice. I mean, this is, if I had if I had this car, I, I mean, I would just want to go cruise around. Well, I do, but the only problem is, you know, you can't can't park it anywhere. Oh gosh. Uh, I, yeah. So that's that's the downside. It right. actually it drives nicely and it's fun and and all that, but uh, I have to be careful about where I take it uh, because sure. you can't can't park it in a lot or anything. Sure, I understand. I've wanted to drive a lead sled for my whole life. That was just a joy. What a stunning, beautiful, beautiful car. Here's a few more for you from the guys up here at Timeless Customs as we say goodbye and thanks for hanging and watching what we do. We'll see you in the next one, you guys. Later.